Hi folks, welcome to my channel. So first of all, I'm taking the Morphe 35P palette and I'm going to put that shade there, which is like a light, light beige shade, into my cut crease. After placing that shade into the crease, I'm now going to line out where I'm going to do my cut crease in this mauve purple matte shade there. After lining out where my crease is, I'm now going to buff and blend that line out using this another mauve purpley matte shade there, which is a little bit lighter than the shade I've just used. After blending and buffing out that line, I've decided I want to make the crease even deeper. So I'm now going in with this deeper purple shade, which is that one there. So I've used that one to line out the crease, that one to buff out the line, but now I want to go in darker, so I'm going to use that shade there. I'm keeping it really tight into my crease. It doesn't matter if you get too messy because we are going to clean this up with some concealer. But I just want to deepen it up a little bit. As you can see, it's getting a little bit deeper. After deepening up my crease, I am now going back in with that shade and that shade to buff it out and give it a transition from dark to light or light to dark, whichever way you want to see it. And now I'm going to do my cut crease. I'm using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And the brush I'm going to use is the MAC 231. And I totally forgot to give you the names of all the other brushes I've just used. <laughs> My bad. See how it's starting to do a nice line? That is your cut. Now I've done my cut crease, I'm going to set it with the nice white shade. As you can see. Now I'm going in with this vibrant purple shade there. Very 
I think one is not worth it for the cost. Now I'm going to do a wing. Only a little wing, because I've got a glitter cut crease. Excuse me, I'm just eating breakfast bars. A little wing. After both wings are done, this is the magic part where we see if the sellotape has worked. Hmm. A little messy. Didn't sit down very good. Let's try this side. Hmm. A little bit more messy. And this is where face wipes come in handy. After applying my Fit Me Concealer, I'm now going in with a mini beauty blender to blend in my concealer. And there's one I blended. After blending in my concealer, it's now time to bake using my Rimmel Match Perfection powder. And what I like to do, a little trick that I've seen off YouTube, but I don't know by who that I can't quite remember, is to slightly just dab and pat and move the excess concealer under the eye there where it creases. So it doesn't all bulk up and get and sit in that crease. And then apply your powder. Where you're going to do your contour, give a nice line, and there you go. See, it's not as creased. While that bakes, I am now going to do my lower lash line. I'm going back in with these three shades there. That one, right tight to my lash line, right tight in my lashes. Then that one, near enough on top of it, a little bit lower, and then slightly buff out with that, or I might even buff out with that one, which I put as my transition color. I might buff out with that one, to be fair. There's a lot of purple shades going on under there, and I like big purple going on under my eyes. So here we go.
really tight. And oh, my jaw is so bad. I can't believe both sides, it's agony. Really just hurt and I'm joking, it's proper it's hurting.
my face. Not a bitch. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, it's 15. Right, I've just realised how long this video is going on for, so I'm going to quickly stop it now, finish my face off camera, and then be back for the final look. But that is really the eyes done, to be fair. All I need to do is put mascara, mascara on my lashes. That is my eyes done. So I'm just going to do my rest of my face, which is the same old, off camera, and I'll be back to roll it up and show you the end result. And this is the final look. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and thank you for watching. See you later!